Good morning. Looking outside, it's not the uh, nicest day out there this morning. Right now we're looking at some conditions that are going to be a little bit more on the uh, low visibility side here for us uh, for the morning hours. Some of us dealing with a little fog. There are some uh, flurries still out there as well, so not perfect, but mostly our snow has ended here in the valley. So just be aware uh, that you might run into a little bit of low visibility, especially in open country, and you can see a little bit of that haze on our Storm Team Skycam network. Let's take a look at our temperatures yesterday because this made a big difference in where that snow uh, first of all accumulated and secondly uh, stuck around and we did see some pretty warm temperatures in the southern valley we got into the 40s in places like Gwinter and Sisseton Fargo warmed into the mid 30s and up north that's where we were closer to the freezing mark there so the snow that did accumulate there uh, kind of hung around Grand Forks had close to two inches of snow Fargo was in that one to two inch range as well though we're not really seeing much of that snow on the ground anymore at this point because of those warmer temperatures here's a look at our current uh, radar and satellite map we've got a few clouds through the valley, but we also are seeing a few areas of flurry activity. Most of it's moved on, but you could still see some radar returns indicating perhaps some of those very light or uh, small snowflakes that are falling around Roseau, that Highway 11 area, back over into western parts of Marshall County in Minnesota. Expanding the view, some snow sh or rain showers rather down by Sioux Falls and snow a little bit farther to the east that's moved on. And if you've got a snowfall report from this recent event, we'd love to hear from you on our Facebook page. So. We get a good idea of just how much snow we've picked up and checking out your temperatures. We're at 32 degrees in Fargo, 31 in Grand Forks. So still very mild for this time of day, especially to have these kind of numbers here this morning. Our winds are out of the north behind this system and we'll continue to see those wind speeds uh, bringing us some cooler air, keeping our temperatures from rising too much today. Uh, looking at some wind speeds in that 5 to 15 mile, mile per hour range for most. So I spoke about that visibility. It's not down to zero or anything like that, but still we are low. We've got visibility reports anywhere from uh, two miles to about four miles in uh, Minnesota. Gwinter just a little bit ago was at a half mile there. So just keep in mind there are probably some places that are uh, looking at that type of visibility here this morning. So in your hour by hour planner, we're looking at temperatures in the upper 20s to some low 30s through the morning hours. This is noon. Clouds still hanging around, still has some flurries or maybe even a lingering light snow shower up around Red Lake and Lake of the Woods. And this might be the case throughout the day that you see this off and on because you're closest still to that system that's still working its way eastward here. As we move into the afternoon hours, we see more clearing and I'm hoping most of us will get some sunshine today. Eastern North Dakota, Southern Valley uh, will be more likely getting that sun this afternoon. Unfortunately, up to the northeast, you're going to be stuck more under the clouds with that slight chance for a little extra snow and temperatures that are not very warm. We're looking at some low 30s to some upper 30s for most places for our highs today and ahead for the overnight hours, uh, starting to see some changes on the way, but we really don't see our next system roll in until later into into Friday. This is Friday morning. More clouds start to push back in to start off our day. Temperatures in the teens and 20s and they just kind of take over through the morning hours by noon. We'll be into the 20s and low 30s and then later into the afternoon and evening hours is when our next round of snow starts to develop. This is 7 o'clock Friday night and that continues into uh, the late night hours and even into the weekend as well. So through Friday night, we've got probably an inch or two of snow that's going to fall. And then into Saturday, we're looking at a little bit of an additional amount of snow. It will depend on when the precip is falling because notice our high temperature tomorrow or Saturday rather will be in the upper 30s. And so we're looking at that potential for again another mix, maybe some rain snow mix in the south and then more snow in the north where we're expecting to be a little bit colder. This lingers into early Sunday and then we start to clear out. Also keep in mind daylight saving time and Saturday night and into early Sunday. Sunday, so you want to turn those clocks back and checking out your forecast into next week. More of the same, more unseasonably cool weather to start the week on Monday uh, with a chance for some more rain and snow showers. More likely snow with our temperatures being a little bit on the cooler side and heading into Wednesday. We'll have some uh, sunshine, maybe temperatures returning to the 40s at that point, but our average highs are in those mid uh, to upper 40s right now and we're just not making it there. So a real switch from a couple of weeks ago here in the valley. I want 70s back. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Lisa. Coming up here on the valley today, a West Fargo man is arrested after leading police on a two-county car chase.